Hello and welcome to Transmissible Brief. Uh, today we're going to look at the new ECDC Threat Report app that was released this week. And this is actually quite a, a useful app when you are an epidemiologist, when you're interested in public health and uh, keeping updated on emerging diseases. This could be um, an app that you would like to download on your mobile phone. So first let's uh, go to the App Store and just see how to find this app. So we go to the search and we search for ECDC, not XTC, ECDC Threat Reports. So here is the um, the app. I've already downloaded it, but this is how you can find it in the um, in the App Store. When you open the app, you will see the uh, the familiar screen of ECDC, and then you have a choice. Before you can use the app, you have to choose your access. Now there's two accesses which are restricted to a, a limited number of people. The nominated user and the ECDC staff uh, can only be accessed if you have an authorization code. For all other people, you need to choose public user, so that's what I'm going to do now. And then in this public user view, uh, you will see four different categories of documents that you now have uh, available for you. First of all is the Communicable Disease Threat Reports. These are published every week on Friday and they actually summarize all the updates and all the new threats for communicable diseases that have been discussed uh, and assessed in the week before. And you will find the most recent overview of these threats. Now let's click on that. And as you can see now, we are in the Communicable Disease Threat Reports. And here you have a list of PDF files that goes back until the 30th of September. Uh, and probably, if you want to go further back, it goes further back. So all the Communicable Disease Threat Reports are online. Um, you have the whole history at your fingertops. Now let's look at the most recent one, the one of 10th of February, which is past Friday. Now we can choose to read it and we can add it to my folder or we can share it. Now let's first, let's first read the document. It's opening the file and then we will see the familiar layout of uh, the ECDC uh, Communicable Disease Threat Report. Uh, so here it is. It's the CDTR of week 6 from the 5th to the 11th of February. And uh, as you can see it has 12 pages and we can flip through them. Uh, to go to one of the particular columns. Now you can also use this part of the app in landscape so it makes it a bit easier to read everything on the relatively small iPhone screen as I'm doing now. You can also use the app uh, of course on the iPad or on a, a larger tablet and then it will not be any problem to use it in landscape but uh, if you need reading glasses like I do at this moment then it's sometimes better to put it in landscape. So here we can just browse through um, the different threats that have been discussed this week uh, at the ECDC. And for example here you see a detailed report on an update on the influenza uh, threat which is um, the perspective of the multi-state European perspective for the um, uh, season 2016-2017. So this thread was already opened on the 13th of October, as you can see, in the previous year. This is at the beginning of the influenza season. And from that moment on, the ECDC has been following this particular thread. And the last update was done yesterday, um, on the 10th of February. So if you browse through it, the structure of these updates are, is usually the same. So you see an epidemiological summary uh, of the week where we are now. You see an overview of the season, which starts from the very beginning in week 46, when ECDC started to monitor this particular threat. And then there's the very useful uh, condensed summary of what is the assessment of this situation. What does it mean for a country in Europe? What does it mean for Europe as a continent? What does it mean for ECDC? And then there is uh, a summary of what type of actions um, are recommended or what type of actions are, are already being performed by countries or by the European Commission or other international agencies. So that's usually the structure. Then uh, the next thread is um, uh, one of uh, influenza H7 and 9 in China. Uh, this one was opened on the 31st of March and uh, again it was updated yesterday so we can see what ECDC updates but 
now we need to go to the next page, page 4. So it's, uh, we have to wiggle a little bit uh, to fit it in the screen again. I think that's one of the disadvantages of using a PDF reader. But um, the, the big benefit is you now have it at your fingertips. Now suppose that this is a particular risk assessment that you really want to keep. Look at the um, uh, left upper corner, you see a symbol of my folder. You click on my folder and then it's a success. It's been added to your folder. If uh, really interesting to share with your network. You can click on the share button, which is the network share, and for example, you can go through any of your uh, sharing applications, uh, which could be an email. And we can send an email, let's send an email to Arnold, and we say, look at this interesting CDTR, and off we go. So let's go back to the uh, portrait uh, representation because it's easier to navigate through the app. Um, there's still uh, a small number of bugs. Uh, sometimes the screen freezes when you move from landscape to portrait, but by and large this is, um, this is really an app which um, uh, makes life easier for you if you are the type of uh, professional that is following disease trends. Now this was part of the communicable disease threat report. There's also uh, something, an output of ECDC called Rapid Risk Assessment. Now if we click on that, we again we see a range of uh, PDFs which goes back to the first moment that uh, uh, ECDC started to put Rapid Risk Assessments on PDFs. So you can browse through the whole history. The most recent one is um, a Rapid Risk Assessment of the 6th of February. Now let's first read it. Uh, I'm not going to add it immediately to my folder because it's not completely uh, clear in this part of the screen what uh, is the title of the risk assessment? You have to open it. And now we see it's a, the risk assessment on the re-emerging multi-country whole genome sequence defined outbreak of Salmonella enteritidis, MLVA type 2, 12, 7, etc. Now, uh, this is a particular outbreak that ECDC is monitoring. So I'm not going to save this one. I'm going to close it. And now uh, you will see that um, it's only possible to see the, the full title when you open the document. So it would be useful in the next version if ECDC makes the title a bit more user-friendly when you browse through uh, the documents. Currently you see the name of the PDF uh, and it doesn't fit on the entire screen. But still, uh, very very useful to have everything at your fingertips. We go to epidemiological updates. Here we are uh, with epidemiological updates. There is a recent one on the yellow fever situation, so we can also read that. Um, and it's, as you can see, it's a really very brief, it's, it's a bit more than one page. Um, it's, it's very easy to, uh, to follow this, to put it in your file, uh, to share it with others. And the final topic is news items. Now ECDC usually brings um, uh, different news items. And here is uh, an ECDC news report about its first mobile application. Well, I'm not completely sure if this is the first mobile application, uh, but uh, it's definitely uh, one that will be uh, very widely used. So it's, um, uh, it's definitely a very, very useful tool. Now, the final thing that I want to show you is um, the settings. So on the top row, you can see the home button. You can see the button where you can change your access. So if you click on that one, you see that now you can uh, choose also to have access as a nominated user. So if we do that, then we have to fill in the username and the password, which uh, in this case we will not do. And then we go back to public user. The last button on the top row is the settings button. So we're going to uh, show that as well. Here we are. We can uh, put different settings in, audio notifications, how many files we want to have in cache memory, which is different than my folder. So the cache memory will uh, also allow you to browse things that you have already seen. You have not put in your folder, but uh, if you're offline for some reason, you can still read them. And of course, everything that you put in your folder, uh, even if it's more than five documents, you will be able to see it. Um, you can select uh, categories uh, for, for viewing, so this time it's use useful to have all of them selected. And that's basically it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I hope you are going to give this app a try. It's a very useful tool for field epidemiologists and field microbiologists uh, to carry with you. And uh, we look forward to next series of apps that uh, ECDC will produce. So thanks a lot for your attention and we'll be back soon with another episode of Transmissible Briefs. Mm -hmm.